Hey guys, so I sent another product from Rachel, who is an Arbonne consultant, to review. And this is uh, Arbonne Intelligence Exfoliating Mask with Thermal Fusion. I am also going to do a demonstration on this product in this, this video. This is a multifunctional mask. It's a clay mask, so it draws out impurities out of your skin. It's got proto proteolytic enzymes, which are digestive enzymes, so as you know, digestive enzymes break down dead protein. Thermal fusion, fusion like which increases, increases microcirculation or blood flow, um, which can help in regenerating your skin. It's got enzymes from papaya, which as you know, papaya has a lot of healing properties for skin, hair, organs. Um, so this helps, uh, that will help get rid of, you know, freckles, age spots, any, um, anything caused by sun exposures, you know, anything like that. So, also it exfoliates, um, so that will smooth the skin and help it, you know, looking, it'll, it'll make it look better, feel better, smoother, softer, you know, it'll help get rid of any dead skin, any dry skin. This costs $32 for this bottle. Which I know to some that might sound like really a lot, but you know, if you find something that works for you, you know, sometimes you gotta spend a little more for it, or you know, hey, if it works, it works. My personal experience with this is uh, I like it. Um, it did, however, make me break out a little bit, which can be expected with anything that's gonna draw crap out of your skin. Um, that's basically, it's what it does, you know, it's, it's, you can't get away from it. If you got crap in there, it's bringing it to the surface. So that's why I, I break out a little bit, um, the first few times that I've used it. Um, I haven't gotten any new pimples since I started using it. Um, I did find when I first, you know, like I said, the first time I started using it, um, it would give me like a little white head on my chin the first few times, like right afterwards. So I don't know if that's from it you know, or if they were just there and I didn't see One them. One thing that I do really, really like about it is because it is so expensive that it does not take a lot of product. Um, maybe like a, a little more than a nickel size. Uh, I know some of these masks, when you use them, it's really you just cake them on and then, you know, it tells you to put a generous amount and then you end up using a lot and then you don't get a lot for your money. However, you know, like I said, this, this actually goes a rather long way. I've used it probably six or seven times now, and I still have over half of a bottle. So, and it's a rather small bottle, so to be able to, for it to go that far. Um, also, the other thing that I really like about it is that it's, because it's multifunctional, it's a combo mask. So, I can skip a step when I'm masking. I usually have to exfoliate and then put my mask on or vice versa and with this I do two in one so I like that I can exfoliate and then let it sit and then it becomes a mask and then I just rinse it off. I really don't have anything bad to say about it except for you know like I said I, I it, the price um, but you know also that's just something that if it's worth it to you it's worth it I mean some people like to spend a little bit more on skincare than they do on makeup and you know vice versa. Um, I'm starting to really get more into skincare, so for me, I think I would buy it because I don't, I wouldn't have to buy it that often. So I think that's a plus for me is that because it goes so long, I wouldn't have to buy it as often as you know what I would some other. Now things. this does have walnut shell in it, so if you have extremely sensitive skin and you can't use things with walnut shell in it, this probably is not the product for you. Um, one thing I did notice was my skin was just a little red after I used it, but that's to be expected from all the friction and rubbing. Um, I get that with any other exfoliant I use, too. When I think of thermal, I think of heat, but um, I didn't really get any necessarily heat from this product. The heat that I got was from, once again, the, the friction of you know exfoliating. Um, and because you do it twice, you exfoliate with it kind of twice, um, you get a little bit extra warmth. Well, it does that. not dry my skin out. I use the Queen Helene Mint Julep Mask as well. And that one tries to, tends to make my skin feel a little dry. And this doesn't do that at all because also papaya helps moisturize. 
So I don't feel like my skin is going to be irritated or overly dried out or anything like that. So um, I do notice it is, it is starting to fade some of this stuff here from the exfoliating. So it is helping to get rid of some of these scars that I have here. Um, it's not like a huge improvement, but it is it is enough to notice that they're covering a little easier with my makeup, so that's always a plus. Um, so I guess now that I've said how I feel about it, I'm going to go ahead and do a demonstration of it. And um, I've already washed my face, clean, cleansed all my makeup off, so now I'm going to go in with a dry face. Make sure your face is dry, your fingers are dry, and I'm just going to get some of this here. Oh, the other thing I like it, about it is it's not wormy. And what I mean by wormy is that when you squirt it out, it doesn't come out in a big worm on your hand. It's actually very smooth and kind of lotion-y aside from the grit in it. So I'm just going to get about that much. As you can see, there's maybe about the size of a nickel. And I'm just going to rub this into my skin. You want to avoid the eye area because just like any other exfoliant, you don't want this stuff getting in your eyes because that will hurt like a mother. So I'm just going to rub this in. You can take it down to your neck if you want to. I tend to like to do the front of my neck. Of course, if you're going to do your neck, it might take a little bit more product. Okay, so now it's kind of dry. So now what I want to do is I'm going to take my fingers, my fingertips, and I'm going to... Um, get some warm water and what this will do is this will help activate the stuff that's in here I'm gonna get a little bit of warm water and wet my fingertips like so I'm gonna massage this into my skin again okay so now all I have to do is let it sit for um, up to five minutes I like to go just a little bit longer I'd say seven eight sometimes ten um, to really make sure that that clay is pulling out all of the impurities out of my skin. Um, so yeah, I'm going to let this sit for a little bit and I will be right back. Okay, so now I've let this sit for a while and you can see it's all dry and it looks all masky like. So, um, it doesn't feel overly tight. I mean, it's, it's a little tight, but it's not like, uh, I can't smile tight. So all I'm to do is rinse this off with cool water. Um, and then just pat it dry. So I'm going to do that really quick. my face. I just use a clean washcloth. I'm just going to pat it dry. And because you're supposed to rinse this with cool water, you don't have to worry about um, splashing cold water on your face so much afterwards. So that kind of already takes that step out. So, yeah. So, I'm done. My face feels nice and um, clean, um, and not tight, oh, uh, doesn't, so it doesn't feel dry, it feels pretty moisturized, feels nice and smooth, so, yeah, that's that, and, um, I hope you guys like this review, and you should check this product out, you can find it on www.desirableskin.com. Um, I'll put all that information down in the description bar along with Rachel's email address so you can contact her and find out how you can get 20% off your first order. So, check this out and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!